So in today's video, I want you guys to stick with me and come along for more or less a conversation, right? Conversation piece. I want you guys to be interactive with this as well. Obviously, we're talking about Corsair. And I think when a lot of us think of Corsair, we think PC components, you know what I mean? Then we come in and look at some of their keyboards and they're making some pretty good moves in their keyboards, I believe. Yeah, I can use some improvements, but they're using some nice innovation, which we like to see. Coming to their headsets, man, their headsets are phenomenal. They're making some awesome headsets, the Virtuoso, the HS80s, so on and so forth, good things. But when we come into their mouse space, again, what we're talking about today, the Corsair Qatar Elite wireless mouse, do we feel that Corsair's off course? Maybe behind course? You know what I mean? I feel like Corsair has the potential to do so much more in the mouse space. Is the Qatar Elite? kind of giving us a taste of that. I want to hear from you guys. Let's check it out, see what kind of improvements we got here. And again, let this be a conversation piece. Now in your box, you get your mouse, your detachable USB-C cable, your wireless dongle, and then your paperwork. And one thing I want to point out here real quick is as far as these dongles, and I just noticed this with a lot of companies, I believe the only company that really does it how it should be is Razer. We need to start putting the name of our products on these dongles. Yo, I have mice all over my desk. I'm like, I can't find a dongle. I don't know which dongle goes to what. Maybe it states it down here in the silver. I don't know. Every single company out there, please start putting the name of the product somewhere on this plastic on the dongle. Now that I got my rant out of me, let's go on and take a deeper look at the Qatar Elite Wireless. Now, when we look at the shape dimensions, we're all quite familiar with this mouse. What's different is some of the specs packed within it. And that also goes right along with the weight of this mouse. Coming in at 68 grams on my scale here, that is with our dongle out, but we still do have the door on the back, which you can take it off in game like that. We'll see if that makes a difference, 67.5. So yes, they did reduce the weight quite a bit. As you see, you got PTFE feet, back, front, and then in the middle. And then as you're seeing on this mouse, you do have wireless, Bluetooth, and you can also use it in wired mode. And as far as battery life, you get up to 60 hours in wireless mode and up to 110 hours while in Bluetooth mode. Now taking a look at the build of the Guitar Elite here, it's quite different. Number one, up front where you got the USB-C connection. As you see, it's rolled right over right there, and then you got your slot. Coming down here to the bottom, one thing that might be a little bit hidden, I'm gonna pull out my Guitar Pro and show you. You see how the sides are just flush, rolling right down? Really nice touch, before it used to step down. And then also, as you probably noticed on the top, the coating is just this soft kind of matte coating. I don't know, you do see a little bit of grease on it here and there, as you see, but it's definitely a smooth coating. Would I say G Pro Wireless? I don't think so. I'd say a little smoother than that. On the side, you got these little plastic grippy textures. Now, let me go ahead and pull out my Guitar Pro Wireless, and this is where you're gonna see the difference here, okay? Not even talking about the RGB, just look at the texture. You can clear as day tell it in the camera right here. You can see you got that grainy PBT type feeling over here. Over here, it's super soft. And again, you can see the difference as far as grease or sweat marks building up there. The other thing I wanted to show you is again that side. So you can see that little slight step over there. Over here on the new Elite, it just flows right down, which plays a really nice role as far as gripping us. Because it's being a, uh, a claw or fingertip mouse, your fingers, or at least my fingers, sit towards the bottom there. And it's really nice because it just flows. Over here on this one, I feel my finger resting right on that lip on the bottom. Again, that's gonna depend grip to grip and handshape to handshape. Now taking another look underneath the mouse here, we're using a Corsair Marksman sensor. I'm not too sure which one that relates to it is in collaboration with Pixar and guys I mean mouse to mouse these days pretty much everything all sensors are top-notch and it's very very hard to notice any delay or hiccup and with this one it was absolutely spot-on as well now as far as the buttons on the Guitar Elite they're using Omron 60 M's and they also have their quick strike buttons here so there's very minimal travel right there you can see when I press it down instant click and it just pretty much bottoms out let me pull a little closer and you can see Click and bottoms. Clicks and bottoms right there. Really nice. Let me give you a quick sound test here. Really nice grooves on a side button, as you can see. They kind of notch in and then kind of flare out just a little bit right there. Nice separation so you can clear as day tell which button you are pressing. And again, it's really nice. You press these front buttons, the one and two, and it's just instant. Bam. Click and down. Click and down. And one downfall about button one and two is there is some significant play in them. As I come over here, just look at this button here. 
Like I'm barely putting anything into that and you can see it dancing. Same over here on button two. I mean, it, it's all over the place. Now, whenever I'm using it and gaming it, it, it doesn't move at all. You see, you got the little groove where it swoops, the button swoops, and then the actual housing swoops. So when you press it down, it locks in. It's not dancing all over the place. Say if it was flat right there, you would notice that. So again, in use, you don't notice it, but when you come up here and just move the button around, yo, it's all over the place. And the crazy thing, if I bust out the pro again it's minimal over here it moves around some but not near as much on the elite so combining everything we just looked at right there i want to talk about actually using the guitar mouse you all know old techni here i love big plump mice that's really not what the guitar is. It is a little bit wider. You can kind of feel it in your hand a little more than say, uh, compared to the, what's the Razer one I'm thinking of guys? What is that tiny Razer one that uses a battery? What is it called? I can't remember. Help me out. Orochi, the Razer Orochi. You kind of think of the Orochi, but a little bit taller right here. That's what you have, you know? And using this mouse, I'd be like, okay, it's a little bit bigger. I might be able to get down with it but I couldn't, right? I'm playing a lot of Destiny, a lot of Halo, getting into uh, Call of Duty, the new one coming out, playing the campaign. So excited for Friday with it coming out, right? But anyways, when I get it into my hand, I'm almost like, what do I do, right? I'm down here, I can get my buttons fine, I'm clicking it fine, but I'm like, I wanna lock it in. Okay, I gotta pull it back a little bit further because again, that tail flares in and then the uh, hump is kind of up here and that's where it flares out. So it definitely messes with my head a little bit more than I would like. It's like, okay, is it gonna be small? Is it gonna be plump? Where is my hump? And again, it's just jacked with me. I'm dancing all around with it in my hand and that is not what you want in game. So the, the shape of the guitar I think is, and we see with Corsair releasing so many of them with minute updates, I think this is a mouse that's, if you love it, you love it and you're gonna love this. It's not so much, I don't think it's so much of a mouse that someone can really get into and just start jiving with, especially with so many different options out there and so many different shapes. You know, this has to be something that you used way back in the days, you jived with it, you love it, and now you're getting into it. And that's exactly where this conversation piece kind of concludes talking about the Corsair Qatar Elite. This mouse comes in at 80 bucks, which I think the features, functions, and everything it's packing justifies that price tag, right? Great battery life, great solid build, great performance. At 80 bucks, wireless and Bluetooth, not, not too bad. Now, now, of course, we can go Qatar Pro over here and talk, well, shoot, man, you can get this for 30 bucks. You got wireless, you got Bluetooth. You got a lot of the same features and functions. Of course, battery, it weighs a lot more, you know? So again, that's kind of hard looking at it that way. And that's where I look at it. Like if you're looking for a Qatar, I'd probably point you, yo, get the Qatar Pro for 30 bucks. You gotta be a lover of this shape and this platform right here to really get into the elite. That's what I think. Now, again, as far as what I was talking before, is Corsair on the right course? Are they behind course or whatever? I think this is a sign of the potential that Corsair can do with mice. Like they got it, right? How much they put into their, you know, keyboards, headsets, peripheral or, or the components for PCs, I think they need to throw some of that, get some of those engineers and those designers over to the mice space. And I really think they can just knock it out of the park. I really do. This is a prime example right here. I want to know what you guys think right down in the comments. You think this elite is like, yo, this, this is the right direction. This is the taste of it. Or it's like, yo, Corsair, come on, tighten it up in the mice space here. But anyways, thank you so much for stopping by watching my review on a new Corsair Qatar Elite right here. Hope I was able to help you out. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye now.